There have been some crazy rumors swirling about a mole leaking information from inside Tyson Fury's training camp. His brother, Shane Fury, has come out to address these rumors head on and give us the real scoop. In this video, we'll break down exactly what's being said, whether there's any truth to it, and what it could mean as Tyson prepares for his huge rematch against Oleksandr Usyk. There's a lot of juicy drama to unpack here, so make sure to watch until the end. The speculation about a mole first started when rumors surfaced that Tyson had actually been knocked down in sparring by Jai Opataya. This is a pretty shocking claim if true, since Tyson is usually known to dominate his sparring partners. The rumor gained even more traction when boxing commentator Johnny Nelson said he had inside sources from Fury's camp confirming that Tyson was dropped multiple times while sparring. Nelson wouldn't reveal his anonymous sources but doubled down, saying the reports were accurate. As you can imagine, this sparked a media frenzy, with many boxing pundits, writers, and fans speculating what this could mean for Tyson's preparation and mental focus heading into a must-win fight against Usyk. Some even questioned if Tyson was beginning to show signs of decline in the ring. However, Tyson's brother, Shane Fury, has come out aggressively denying these rumors. Shane completely dismissed the mole and sparring knockdown allegations as false information. In an interview with Boxing King Media, Shane insisted that Tyson's camp was going perfectly fine without any leaks or issues. He blasted the rumors as comical and maintained that Tyson has knocked out plenty of sparring partners, but no details ever get out due to discretion within the camp. Johnny Nelson obviously done a few interviews and he basically said in a, in a few interviews, and he's been quite open about it, that there's a suggestion that he's got a mole. Somebody within the training camp is telling him what's going on and obviously suggesting that Tyson's been having obviously bad spars and the camp's not been going to plan. So uh, could you tell us what, what's going on there? You know, this suggestion of a mole, did that disrupt the camp? You know, just tell us from your point of view. Um, nothing really. Nothing really destructs the camp. When you're dealing with someone who's rock solid like Tyson, he's not bothered about anything like that. But if... The, the stuff what Johnny Nelson was saying was correct. It probably would be worrying and who the fuck's the mole. Um, and I think the only person who John, uh, Johnny Nelson has probably got uh, connections with in the camp would be would be Greg uh, from Sheffield and that, Brendan Gulchin. By the way, a good friend of Tyson's and a nice guy. Uh, but the information what Johnny Nelson was putting out was just simply not true so if it was coming from Greg it would have been different information than that and he'd have probably got, he'd have got the truth uh he's got the truth if someone was there so I don't I'd, I'd like to know who his bowlers but uh it wasn't alarming to us because it was totally false information Shane was clearly frustrated saying it would be worrying if there was actually truthful information coming from a mole. But he reiterated his stance that the recent rumors did not happen at all, calling them inaccurate reporting probably intended to destabilize Tyson mentally before the big fight. So what are we to make of these contradictory rumors versus Shane Fury's strong denials? Does the evidence point one way or the other in determining if there is, in fact, a mole in Tyson's camp? On the one hand, Johnny Nelson seemed extremely confident, claiming he got multiple confirmations about Tyson struggling in sparring. He had no reason to fabricate a story that could damage his own credibility as a journalist. However, Shane was also very persuasive in his interview, giving explicit details about privacy procedures and reasons why a mole would not have access to such closely guarded information. He made a strong case that the rumors didn't add up logically. At the end of the day, fans are left to decide who they believe. Without further evidence from additional sources, there's no way to conclusively resolve the he said, he said nature of this story. There are good arguments on both sides. For now, Tyson Fury maintains full focus on preparation for his upcoming mega fight against Usyk after a delay due to injury. The plot continues to thicken regarding the mole rumors, but Shane Fury wants to shut down that as a distraction to the ultimate prize his brother has in sight. Heavyweight supremacy. 
I'll be sure to keep you updated if any more details or evidence comes out supporting or disproving this controversial mole theory. Now, I also have some massive boxing insights to share regarding the upcoming battle for the undisputed heavyweight championship. Alexander Usyk's promoter just made some very bold claims about the chances of Tyson Fury withdrawing from their planned fight on May 18th. Considering Fury just had to postpone the original date because of a freak injury, these comments are sure to turn heads. To quickly recap, Fury and Usyk were originally supposed to clash on February 17th in a title unifier that would crown the first undisputed heavyweight king in over 20 years. But Fury suffered a bad cut above his right eye, allegedly from a sparring session that his camp said required postponing everything for four months. Usyk's promoter, Alexander Krasyuk, has been very vocal from the start, saying that he believes Fury inflicted the injury on himself to duck the fight. Considering Fury's history of last-minute withdrawals, it's not totally far-fetched. Nonetheless, the bout was delayed to May 18th in Saudi Arabia by popular demand. But now, with the stakes raised even higher, Krasyuk says he would actually be surprised if Fury found another excuse to pull the plug again. He cited two main reasons. First, the enormous financial penalties Fury would face, and second, letting down the Saudi organizer who had already vouched for Fury's injury claims against heavy criticism. Regarding the money, apparently, there's a clause in the new fight contract that Fury must pay Usyk $10 million if he happens to withdraw again. That's no small fee, even for someone who just signed a $100 plus million deal with ESPN. So Krasyuk believes having to reach into his own pocket will keep Fury honest this time, considering how the fight itself is expected to pay both men close to $100 million once all the money is counted. Fury won't want to lose a huge chunk of his payday over a questionable injury. But more importantly, Krasyuk says Fury is now under pressure not to embarrass or contradict Turki Alalshik, the influential Saudi sports advisor who publicly insisted Fury's camp was telling the truth about the sparring injury last month. Since Alal Sheikh put his own reputation on the line defending Fury, he expects Fury to stand by his word and make this fight happen no matter what obstacles get in the way down the road. If you measure it on a surprise scale of 1 to 10, Krasyuk says he would rate his shock level at a 3 or 4 if Fury withdrew again for yet another suspicious reason. He believes all the external forces now weighing on Fury will compel him not to invent another last-second emergency that jeopardizes everything. Of course, I'm sure the skeptics still have doubts. Considering Fury's history and erratic behavior, it's hard for some to envision him going through with boxing's marquee event when he wasn't forced to face the two toughest challengers over the past five years. This is literally the biggest test and highest stakes Fury has ever faced. Nonetheless, for the sake of an undisputed crown not seen since Lennox Lewis, let's hope Krasyuk's confidence proves warranted. Boxing desperately needs this torch to be passed to certify an undisputed king. An already convoluted heavyweight picture would turn nuclear if Fury stalls yet again. For Usyk, though, there are no worries. He's kept his word, fighting the best for years and will proudly defend his hardware, whether it's against Fury or a last-minute replacement. But I know the undisputed glory is what Usyk wants most to cement his transcendent legacy. This has been a roller coaster saga already filled with drama at every turn. But Usyk's promoter strongly believes financial penalties and Saudi obligations will prevent Tyson Fury from undoing boxing history yet again. That's all we had in store for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like. And if you want more exciting boxing updates, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you never miss an update from us. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.